This is hilarious. A restaurant decided to charge extra for Obamacare. It's an ACA surcharge, as they call it. Listen to this. Adding a surcharge, they say, to help pay for their employees' health care. This has created a big buzz on our Facebook page all day long. It's happening at three different Gators Dockside locations in Central Florida. One in Eustis, the Villages, and in Claremont near State Road 50. Local 6's Mike DeForest is at the Claremont location right now. Mike, the restaurant wants customers to know that they'll be paying extra for these employees' health care, right? They're not hiding at all, Matt. There's a message here on the door to this Gators dock site, which can also be found on all of the tables, even in the restrooms. It notifies customers that a 1% surcharge is being added to their bill to help defer the costs associated with the Affordable Health Care Act. But not all Gators dock side restaurants are tacking on that extra fee. <laughs> The owners of this Gators Dock site in Claremont say they're committed to providing health care to all full-time employees, and they plan to hold on to those employees, even though the owners claim the cost of complying with the Affordable Health Care Act could force this popular bar and restaurant to close its doors. That's why a few Gators Dock site franchises have begun tacking on a 1% Affordable Health Care Act surcharge to every customer's bill. We just want to be transparent with that costing. We want everybody to know that this is what it's going towards, that we're not increasing costs just because it is actually a fee that we're paying. Chase Neal says the government mandate has meant his restaurants had to hire a human resources representative and an outside compliance firm to handle all the extra paperwork. Instead of increasing menu prices 5, 10, 20 percent or whatever we need to do, we felt that if we just did a one, one time untaxed surcharge, it would actually be cheaper in the long run. But not all Gators Dockside restaurants are adding that surcharge to the bill. A majority of the locations, including this one in Baldwin Park, are owned directly by the company and are not franchises. We chose not to do it because we know that it's the cost of doing business and we felt like that uh, we did not want to put that surcharge or that cost onto our guests. Now, the owners of those other Gators Dockside restaurants insist that they will not be hiding those additional health care costs by raising the prices of food and beverage. Uh, the owners of these restaurants here that have tacked on that fee insist that this is not any type of political statement or a publicity stunt. Lauren. Okay, that's hilarious. So did you notice at the end there? That was very important, the end part there. Because they said, well, others, Gators... Other Gators dockside restaurants, they're just not, they're not doing it. They're not charging extra for Obamacare. They don't have an ACA surcharge. And like he said, they're not, it's not that they're still putting it in the bill, but then they're not telling people about it. They're just not charging more. You want to know why they're not charging more? Because it's not an expense. It's not a big expense at all. You can still make a tremendous amount of profit even if you do the right thing, which is cover your people with health care. Now, on top of that, I have a lot of firsthand experience with this because I just signed up for Obamacare this weekend. So I went through the whole process. Now, granted, I'm in New York. They're talking about different states there. If you're in one of the 25 states that didn't set up their state exchanges, you're fucked a lot more. That's for sure. I happen to live in a good progressive state that set up their exchanges and did the right thing. But if you look at the prices... Uh, if you're a business owner, if you're a business owner and you try to cover people, if you look at the prices without Obamacare and then with Obamacare, Obama makes it less expensive. Obamacare makes it less expensive. So, for example, I saw that even just with uh, uh, for my individual health insurance. So uh, I'm paying $255 for a silver plan, and I would be paying $600 if it wasn't for Obamacare. Why? Because of the income bracket I'm in, I get some subsidies. A lot of middle class families get subsidies as a result of this. And guess what? If you're not getting subsidies uh, and you're in a lower income bracket, then they have the Medicaid expansion, which covers, I think, up to 133% of what Medicaid used to cover. So here's, here's the bottom line. Point blank period. Obamacare makes healthcare less expensive. Whether you're an employee at a business, a small business owner, a, a sole proprietor, or, or an individual working as a business, it's just across the board, it's going to reduce the amount of money that you have to pay for healthcare. Okay, it was the wild, wild west before. Now, the regulations in Obamacare, they're not strong enough, but they're something. They're a start. And healthcare is less expensive. I mean, we covered stories on the show where in my state, New York, it cut premiums by 50%. And for me, it cut it for more than that. I told you. 255 I paid would have been about 600 without it. So, it... It's, they're just lying. I mean, there's no other way to put it. They're lying. That that one restaurant, and it's not all them, 
uh, not all the Gators dockside restaurants are dickheads, but the ones that, I guess, what is it? They're franchises, so people buy the rights to the name and then they set up the restaurant. That one restaurant, it, just a liar. J just a liar. Total liar. Right? Charging, and by the way, you know what that is? That's a cunt detector. Oh, we're charging uh, 1% for people's health care. Are you going to complain? Anybody who complains, anybody who complains is guaranteed a douchebag. Guaranteed a douchebag. You don't want to pay 1% to make sure people have affordable health care? What is wrong with you? It, they showed a bill there, 33 cents. It was a $35 and change bill. It cost them 33 cents to give the worker health care. Ooh, wow, yeah, what, uh, what an infringement on your liberty. What tyranny we're talking about here. No, you're just a dick if you think that, that there's something wrong with that. And again, to be clear, they don't even need to do that 33 cent charge. They could not do that and still cover the people with health care and still make a lot of profit. So they're just lying.